Hello everyone. And the game should be popping up right there. Perfect. So we're just gonna make it thank you very much. And I have some uh thank you here, but I will have to actually Oh, that's actually really tricky to do. Uh, the game might disappear again after we got some thank yous to new followers. But yeah, we got a lot of rats here. So, before we get too far into the game, uh, thank you to Gian Molly, Scooby Rufus, uh, Medieval Medievalismus, uh, The Public Medievalist, uh, Burnzo, Ozzy Madius, Free Pseudonym, Moon in the Magic Shop, and Sensei21 for the follows. I appreciate it a whole lot. And since we now have 15 viewers, oh, we got a volume issues. Okay, how's that? How's that doing for? Uh... How's that doing for volume now? Perfect. If it gets too quiet, uh, let me know, and I'll turn it back up. But yeah. Since we have a lot of viewers who weren't here last time, to briefly introduce this game before we get stuck in, this is a Plague Tale Innocence developed by Asobo Studios, and it is a game set in France in 1348, right at the start of the Black Death, or more academically known as the Second Plague Pandemic, which uh, ran for approximately 700 years, depending on how you count. Uh, with the earliest outbreaks being possibly in northern China in the 1200s after being carried there by the Mongols, or later 1200s, not early 1200s. Regardless, after being carried there by the Mongols and transferring from Marmids in Central Asia, it then spreads across the, in the 14th century into Europe and devastates uh, the Dar al Islam and the European continent and sticks around until the last attest or widely accepted outbreak is in 1720 in Marseille, but may have stuck around in the Balkans and Turkey into the 19th century. So it's a whole lot of time. But, as you may notice, this game takes a very literalist approach to rats, rats spread the plague, in that it is quite literally hundreds of millions of rats. So let's hope we don't run into too many of them right away, and let's get stuck in with Chapter 5. The Raven Spoils. Oh, the poor guy in plate armor is absolutely trashed there. So, Laurentius told Amicia that an ancient evil lurks in Hugo's blood and that this evil is awakening. Shortly before dying, the old alchemist entrusted Lucas and his apprentice with the mission of helping the orphans reach Chateau d'Ambrage. There, they will finally be safe from the Inquisition. You're right, Viking Mischief, my bad. It is in fact the English biting people, not rats. <laughs> so, after lighting uh, Laurentius' farm uh, on fire uh, to try and deal with the rats using alchemical firebombs, uh, we escaped in a boat. We have here Lucas, the apprentice, uh, slowly trying to do things while Hugo's looking pretty rough. He's got weird, like, vein things, don't worry about it. Hey, Leander! <laughs> He's not looking well at all. Lucas? Yes. <laughs> Raptors, that is such a big what change. What does he have in his blood? There's an old story. It tells of the oh. Prima Macula. I need to look up the what that word is. Said was the first corruption, and that it silently travels in the blood of certain families. But something happened. The great break, and the Macula awoke in Hugo's blood. But what will it do to him? The Macula cares for neither good nor evil. It evolves with its host. Rats can swim. The world. You know, your mother and Laurentius. We're trying to help your brother, but they failed. No, I think they just ran out of time. This is it. <laughs> yep, 
We're going to talk about alchemy in just a moment here, because there's some nonsense going on in this game, but there's also some not nonsense going on in this game. Come on, we'll walk from here. It'll warm you up. <clears throat> if we follow the hmm. duct, we should arrive at Chateau d'Ambrage before nightfall. What's that noise? Nothing. It's just frogs you go. Frogs. Frogs. <laughs> frogs. He seems well. Let's keep our fingers crossed. So, by the way, they're... Their name is really creative. Prima Macula literally just means the first corruption. So, you know. Easy enough. We... We just run around here being a little bit silly. Uh... Anyway, we got there. Clearly decrepit Roman aqueduct. Looks like it's been abandoned for a long time though, which would not be particularly unusual. And we got Lucas. I, um, uh, yep, I have a lot of notes about what is in... Aren't you cold? A little, yes. Hugo doesn't seem to mind. <laughs> How far can the other guy run? Form. Not that yes. far. Okay. But he's too far for my liking. Oh, I should actually, like, remember what my buttons are. Buttons? That's crashing. What's my run? What's my run? Sprint my front pass. Nope. Uh, let's actually look that up. Controls. Controller. Okay, that's dodge, drop, sprint is that one. Okay. Yes. I remember my buttons. I have played a few too many games recently. Select that. Can't pull out my sling, can't do anything. Perfect. Anyway, uh, actually, let's go in... Uh, nope, not there. Where is my... Somewhere in here. There it is. The Codex. So I tried to look up uh, for future things uh, the flowers that we'll find here in an early modern herbarium, and shockingly, despite that one uh, purporting to be uh, basically complete, not a single one of these things uh, got actually mentioned, which is odd. Like, carnations I definitely would have expected to be. But yeah. Neither of these were mentioned, and I know the one in this chapter was also not mentioned, so, oops. But we do have this, uh, which I'll read it out again, uh, vitriol, the abbreviation of a Latin formula. Visita interiora terri rectificando in venius occultum lapidum. Visit the interior of the earth, and by rectifying what you find there, you will discover the hidden stone. This maxim sums up alchemical philosophy based on the study of the fundamental natures of the elements that surround us and how they are transformed. These initials are also another name for sulfuric acid used to modify the substance. Vitriol as an abbreviation of this kind is, as far as I can tell, a late early modern uh, invention. It does not appear in medieval alchemy at all, although weak acids, including one based on uh, and sulfur Hugo. compounds were actually used. And we are running inland here at the base of this. Hugo. Yeah, I screwed up the medieval pronunciation, but yes. Uh, don't worry about it. What? You're supposed to duck. Thank you. Uh, meanwhile, things are looking actually not bad here. Uh, but yeah. What is true of the thing they said there is that vitriol is uh, based on, or that vitriol was one of the primary substances used, and that alchemy is concerned with the transformation of the elements. The most Look, specific right. one. Uh, In English, you. Where did you find that? Over there, lying on the ground. Oh no, Listen, that's not good. Put that down. It's not for children. Ah, oh, you're not fun. Come on, let's go. You, you do know words, it is an aqueduct. An aquifer would be underground. Yes, it's horrible. Oh, huh. what's, what's horrible? What is this horrible thing you speak of? Something stinks. Hmm. That's okay, we can go this way. I see sneakies. Yep, uh, Hugo appears to not have object permanence. Uh, in that he bounces between horribly traumatized and not that, almost instantly. Hello. You are more rocks. You are just more rocks. You are not a actual thing. And the hedge, the hedge defies us. So 
we will need to keep exploring more things. <laughs> this is probably true. He has no idea what to be afraid of. Sadly, I'm sure there's a lot to be afraid of. I'm sure. I'm sure this won't go poorly. Let's see, so it looks like we're supposed to go that way. So rather than going that way, we're gonna go this way. As this music rings very loudly in my ears. Anyway. So. Uh, alchemy. I was gonna say more things about that. Going this way. Shush. <laughs> there are things over here. Hello. Hey, he actually found us. And that's more leather, which I like. Because upgrade materials. We're going to talk about how this game looks like The Last of Us a little bit later, but uh, to firstly talk about alchemy while it is still pertinent in everyone's minds. Uh, alchemy, and since I did all that reading today for it, uh, alchemy is uh, attested from very, very early on. Ooh, hello. They're so pretty. What are they again? Gladiolae. Ah, yes. Of Gladiolae. Course. Don't you like them? That's not a good sign. Hugo, they're flowers. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna put, put a pause on that because we got to the flower. Uh, yoink. Found in both tender gardens and wild fields, many of its variants are poisonous, but one of them was consumed in dishes and used in enemies. The shapes of its leaves rem reminiscent of a gladius uh, made the flower of heroes and gladiators in the Roman era, a symbol of strength and vigor. Okay, so this one actually was in the early modern herb herbary, and it said nothing of this sort. It gives a brief description of the flower, and then says it is just it is rarely used in medicine, but one of it is good, uh, I believe, against melancholy, because this is still in the realm of humoral of humoral the theory. So, yeah, just as it's good against melancholy, and so it's used in a little bit of things. As far as how it was used in the Roman era, I don't know. I'm a little bit suspicious of this. But yeah, actually, it's not that weird uh, that the alchemist doesn't know flowers. Uh, it's because alchemy can be kind of divided into two camps. Uh, the transmutation of metals and medicinal alchemy. The transmutation of, it, of metals is in the European tradition the first form of alchemy. Uh, being theoretically uh, as old as Egyptian or at the very latest uh, classical Greece uh, with the Emerald Tablet of Hermes uh, Trismegistus, who Ugh. is probably is not that? a real person, uh, but the uh, instead it probably was composed in the Darl Islam, the Emerald Tablet may have been composed in the Darl Islam in the 8th century. Just for kind of how different things are. Uh, but alchemy in Europe, medieval Europe really gets a boost in the uh, late 11th century with the sack of Toledo uh, during the so-called Reconquista, which is not a reconquering, it is just a conquering. Uh, of uh, Toledo by Christian Iberians from the uh, Taif Estates. Oh boy, that's not good. Oh my God, are they all dead? Yes, we yes they are. Carry on. Amicia, what the hell happened? The okay, that explains the name of the of the chapter. Uh, Ravens. We'll put a pause, or we'll talk about ravens after I finish talking about alchemy. But uh, alchemy is well. Some of the things we saw alchemy do uh, was like create firebombs. Let's see if I've got any of them. Do I have any of them? Uh, it would be one of these buttons. There it is. I yes, I do right now. I still have a few of these. Ignifer, being some kind of elemental thing made out of saltpeter and sulfur and alcohol. So basically, you know, a firebomb uh, using gunpowder. Something like that would not be interested in being produced. That being said, sulfur and saltpeter uh, and alcohol were all incredibly important uh, within oh the uh, medieval tradition of alchemy. Welcome, I know Hugo, but 
We don't have a choice. We really don't have a choice. That's a lot of corpses. That is a lot of corpses, and well, it would be kind of unlikely a battlefield would be left this bad. But uh, also with rat swarms, the the idea that they would still be around if the rats swarmed them, I I am a bit hmm about. But it is kind of horrible. Just keep moving, Hugo. Come on. Anyway, uh, the. Uh, the reason why sulfur is important in the alchemical tradition is that sulfur, uh, along with mercury, is one of the two main compounds uh, used to create uh, various elixirs, particularly the Philosopher's Stone, which is liquid. Uh, the Philosopher's Stone is not this stone that you just rub on things. It's actually a liquid compound made out of a distillation and calcification of a sulfur or mercury compound. Oh boy, don't mind Amicia's elbow, uh, it's fine. Oof, uh, Lucas, are you okay? You okay there, bud? Trebuchets. Trebuchets are good. Uh, anyway. With this, we have... Oh, why are you being told to stay? I don't like the sound of that. Also, what the hell, what the hell did you do? That's not an easy thing to manage. Uh, hmm. It's a good question, you know. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what the, uh... The siege weapons are doing out here. You know, that, that definitely we are. Oh, ravens, please. Ravens. Chill. Violins! Violins! You can chill too. It's okay. More sulfur. <laughs> yeah, so... Uh... Here we go. Uh, John of Rupes Chissa, uh, a Spanish 14th century guy starting to work immediately after the Black Death, uh, kind of says that, like, to produce not a full, uh, to produce a philosopher's stone, uh, you mix mercury and sulfur, and you sublimate it with saltpeter so that a uh, certain like black material uh, distills out, which is supposed to be uh, distilling the quintessence of the compound. And then you go through like six other steps of calcinating and dissolutions and further distillations to produce either a white liquid or a red liquid. The idea is that the white liquid you can mix with silver, you can melt silver, mix them together, and pour that over an iron ingot, and it will turn the whole thing into silver. And if you was with red, you did it with gold, and it will turn the whole thing into gold. So that's the Philosopher's Stone. If Harry Potter tells you it's a red gemstone, it's, it's lying. Uh, yeah, it's completely... Very ridiculous. But also, you know, what can you do? Uh, what's up this way, I wonder? If there's a trebuchet pointed this way, maybe there's actually a thing. Shouldn't be here. Oh, the smell. Yes. It's you guys may have... Don't look. Concentrate on the aqueduct. What aqueduct? I see no aqueducts here. Uh, what's up this way? Uh, things I can loot. I'll take that cord, that cord please. Thank you. Yay! Uh, well, they did get some things right, I know. Uh, it's cool. Anyway, the other main purpose uh, of... Oh, thank you, Nevada Attitude, for the follow. Uh, the other main purpose of alchemy, anyway, I should say, is to uh, not turn base metals into gold, uh, or more generally to understand like the mixtures of the four elements into uh, all metals, but is instead to... Uh, also do medicine, because the Black Death is a little bit traumatic for traditional uh, herbal medicine in the Middle Ages, for probably obvious reasons, uh, in that the traditional theories of certain people got sick with certain things and had certain properties, and if you could just make it work, uh, treat that individual correctly, you would be fine. The plague didn't care. The plague 
infected everyone and had massive mortality across everyone. So, uh, alchemy becomes seen as a way to hope to kind of deal with that. Uh, so, one of the big pushes of alchemy in the back half of the 14th century is the push towards a universal cure. Uh, the ideas proposed earlier on Roger Bacon in the 12th century is already proposing it, uh, but the idea of mixing uh, compounds, mixing organic and inorganic compounds uh, in order to cure everything and kind of make an ultimate benefit uh, manifests with John of Rufusissa with the uh, what the hell is that? Uh-uh. Nuh-uh. I want nothing to do with this. Uh, anyway, uh, the... It wants to kind of be a universal cure. The universal cure, uh... The horse. Lucas? I... I don't know. It's not close to it. That's right, but... Okay, at least they're being pretty polite about it. You know, this is what I ex- oh shit. Fine. Rude. Uh, did you do that? Can you walk onto that? Come on, uh, nailed it. <laughs> yes, clearly. Obviously, without a doubt, French rats. Uh, yeah, we'll go with that. More of those, and a pull up on that. Anyway, uh, Quintessence uh, is also set out to... Uh, has a detailed note uh, on... from John of Rathaschissa, who, by the way, I want to mention with this guy, since it's wild, uh, he was not a... interested in the practice of alchemy. Uh, he was really... Entirely, uh. There's some hay over there. Yeah, yeah, you I know. Be able to set it alight. I know. Get ready. Let's. Okay, there we go. Now. Run. run, 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 run. And then we should be able to go from here to this one, no problem. There we go. We are now fine. Lucas, you should get him alive. Uh. What are these? There's a lot of rats. Yep, uh, Raptorus, I agree. This game is really interested in just completely screwing us up and making us feel terrible uh, about everything. The dog and the pig that and people? the horse. Those aren't soldiers. Those aren't soldiers. What are they doing here? We have company. We have to get out of here. No. What were they doing? Those were, there were bandits. Yep. Survive, probably. I don't know, we've got a nice boot here, I don't know why they didn't steal this very nice big leather boot. You can make a lot of things out of a boot like that. And just as many of it if you melted down the helmet and bashed it with a hammer a few times. It would have been fine. <laughs> no, uh, Nevada, uh, they... While rats were endemic to the European medieval experience, the idea that there were literal swarms of rats as the manifestation of the pig is, uh, or of the plague, sorry, is completely an invention of the game for the sake of horror. What I think it does do really well is communicate, well, you know, in 2017, uh, communicate just how horrifying a pandemic is, where everyone it touches seems to die, and you don't really know what's causing it, it's invisible, but it's ravaging the community, and you'll hear reports from farther away, and the neighboring village, I mean, just each village gets another hit of the... of death just showing up out of nowhere for no reason, and nothing you do helps. Hmm. I'm the American, I hope it gets a... it's better. That would... it's not good. So yeah, uh, the, it communicates the psychology of plague really well, while itself being uh, 
utterly non. Actually, I should craft first. Uh, okay, that's what I'm gonna uh, craft, please. Hold eight craft. One, two. There we go. We can just throw that over here. Lights that up and. Huh. I guess we'll go this way, because I don't see a way up there yet. Ah, that's how. What's up here? Oh, a burning end of a tributary. That works. Uh, no, Brother Jeremiah, they did not associate the plague with rats. All right. They are like at all, really. Hmm. Okay. To go through. But I can't. Okay, I uh we have to clear our way through. Okay, uh let's go crap, I need to It's alright now. Go. No it's not. Yes. Uh yes. Nope. 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 Uh shit, I need to let go. Uh can I actually like use the thing? Let me release. Okay. Okay. So I need to go, nope, not that one. I need to go with this, up here, like this on fire. And now go. There we go. Uh, yeah. I need you to do this. Yes. Go on, Hugo. Be less bad this time. Move faster, please. Move faster, please. Good. Now come back. Oh my God, he—he he is aware of just how scary this was. Uh. Ow. My arms paralyzed. Well done, you two. Okay, so where are we moving? Okay, we're moving to that. Understood. We zoom in. Uh. Yes, exactly. I can show. Clearly, these are all English. Uh. For people who missed it, in the very beginning of the game, there's a joke line that the English are the crawling around biting people uh, in the manor. Because this is still during the Hundred Years' War, as well as the Black Death. Uh, anyway. Yes, Raptorus, uh, proto-chemistry is a really good description to it, and in fact, chemistry, though it, for a long time it denied it, really uh, owes a lot to alchemy, both in methodology and in uh, some of the actual discoveries. Because a lot of the greats of like early modern science, in the true sense, uh... Oh, crap. Into the grass quickly. He mustn't see us. Amicia, his lantern. I... I understand. Oh, uh, crap. Yep, uh... Can we be shooting at them with the sling? Okay, I need to go this guy. Here. No. That one. Now you go up and no. Huh? Fucking do some is going up kids. Oh Lord. It's horrible. We should but move it though. Worked. It did work. We should move though. Rip guy. Bye. And we get more rats. So yeah. Uh anyway. Alchemy does, or chemistry does owe a lot to alchemy, uh, both with a focus on empiricism, though they dislike admitting that for a long time. Uh, yeah, yeah. Hmm. Well, that was fun. Let's go there, and then we can go here. So we're in a siege- oh, that's why there's siege equipment, guys. That's what I figured, is that there had to be things somewhere eventually, but, you know. There's siege gear. And a workbench, nice. Let's see what we can actually do. We have that already, we have that already. Uh, that makes the sling more useful. Uh, reloading time, or an ammunition bag seems good. And if we have another set of tools around, that'll make another thing. Not bad 
dog. Let's make uh, see if there's more tools. Yeah, there's one. Yay! And let's go up here just to see what's Climb around. Yes. See what's around yes. while we're there. It's good to tell physics. Uh. Anyway, yeah. So I think that's most of, or at least enough to say about uh, alchemy right now. Though so it should be clear that like, uh, well, no. Let's talk about the universal cure more because. Uh, there's this thing called quintessence in later medieval, uh, things that appear in this time period, uh, and those, that quintessence, uh, said, uh, John, of uh, Rupus Chissa is the first one to really talk about this, but it's pretty much all over the place, uh, and ultimately what it is, it's a repeated distillation of alcohol, uh, from wine or from other materials uh, compounded right with wine uh, and just turning that into eventually uh, by repeated distillations the idea is you would remove the corrosive influence of the four basic elements of Aristotelian geom uh, natural philosophy so earth, air, fire, and water you would remove the fact that those just decay over time uh, the generation and the desiccation of the elements, leaving just something incredibly pure, uh, known, which is literally the fifth element uh, of ether or pneuma or some kind of heavenly force, which the idea then is like, if you mix that with gold and then drink it, you basically have like a potable gold thing that would serve to as a universal cure that uh, both undoes the loss of heat uh, and wetness uh, that comes with age and whatever other misbalance of the humors you'd have, it would release whatever whatever uh, quality is needed in order to repair that. It is basically just incredibly strong moonshine with gold flakes in it. Uh, but, you know, applied to a wound, you know, that has incredibly strong antiseptic properties. So, it is worth saying that while this is largely theoretical, and John of, uh, John of Rufus Chessa is a theoretician of alchemy rather than an actual practitioner, uh, it still is the case that they were... Uh, that there's a lot of empiricism in it, and the fact that quintessence was thought to be useful for so long is not necessarily just because they were medieval people were all rubes that are bad. Oh crap. Where are they? That's not good. I do have a pot though, so let's grab a pot. Uh, oh, I've got it. Uh, what did you do? And attract you over here. Nay, this way. Bye. We're just not gonna look at that. Uh, yes. We well, are, in fact, saying that, Kosek, that anything with quintessence is a distillation of. It's supposed to be any organic or inorganic material, but it's actually partly at least incredibly strong alcohol. Good show. And hopefully these guys will go poo. Uh, oh, I can actually turn it. Good. Turning it is important. Let's go. Well, that should... that should... Hold. Hopefully that's enough. Yeah, we made it. Going through this sludge. But the rats don't seem to like the sludge either, so... Nee -na 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 -na. <laughs> uh, Theriac? Yeah, it's... It is related, uh, but it is uh, definitely present from beforehand, and I know less about it, but... It is definitely another one of those cure-alls where the idea is basically just, you know, you can... Hmm. We need to pass below the aqueduct, monsieur. But 
The rats are everywhere. Yeah. Shh. But the we'll find a way. idea is less yeah, well you. the I black have a chance if I go alone. Uh the black death uh more or less suggests that uh that trying to cure individual things isn't necessarily smart, so you should instead try and cure everything at once. Uh, but anyway, if you guys could stay, that would be huge. Uh, I kind of need to stay right behind him uh, as I'm going, so that he uh, lights my way as I just go in a circle. Because uh, it's not going to be easy. Uh, me to do that. Run, grab it, grab it, grab it. And I can just back off on my own. That was incredibly close. Yep, yep. These, I don't. I actually don't know if these guys are English or if these guys are Inquisition. But either way, they're bad people, and we don't need to care. I think that's how that works. I'm sorry to any, any Brits uh, listening. Obviously, Jeff. Uh, but yeah, the English are going around biting people, and so, you know, these rats have been shown to eat monks, so why are they not eating de dead soldiers? Like, these guys should all be skeletons. Uh, oh shit. I forgot. I forgot to tell them to follow. Uh, that's on me. Let's go this way this time. Uh, there's someone out there, over there. They seem busy. They seem busy, so we'll, let's put this here and then we can go up over the top. Come on, climb up. Wait, right. <laughs> they, they do seem to like uh, sacred meat significantly more than not that. Okay, so there's a thing I can bomb there, but uh, I don't know if that'll clear the entire area out, and also what attention will that attract. Mm, they've got sticks in their dummies. Don't look. Try to Oof. everything you see here, Hugo. Oof. Uh, so apparently we're in one of the camps. Uh, that. This would happen. Uh, Rod Jeremiah, I really, uh... Amicia, look how they're drawn to them. Oh, yeah, okay, that's how I'm supposed to figure it. Yes, we can't stay here. we we'll get here and then go over the top. Oh, well, he's English. Can you tell by that accent? Oh gosh, uh, do we need to... Are we pushing the rats towards him? Oh boy. Uh, Leander? Yep. Uh, have a good night. Uh, and obviously we'll be streaming both days this weekend, so hopefully you can make those. Oh gosh, this is terrible. This is terrible. There's a torch right- oh god, I could have saved him. I could have saved him. Uh, no, I can't- oh, I can't use the torch 
and hold this at the same time. And the sling at the same time. The torch. I... We'll do without it, Demetia. I... yeah. I tr I try to use the sling, but I can't actually pull out the sling uh, while the... while I have the torch out. And so having dealt with rats for a moment, we are suddenly... Having the choice. to do this. Take it by surprise. Oh boy. Take this. What do I don't. I don't like the sound of this. You see, mix them together. Oh. Okay. Great. Uh. Cool. That's better. Like this. Perfect. Now you're going to crush it on his face. Are you serious, Lucas? Well, I hope you know. Somnum puts enemies to sleep for good. Just really get closer behind an enemy's back and press Y when the icon appears to use it. Huh. You're, you're right. He was English, so it is maybe acceptable, kind of. Uh, but also... After all, French patriotism doesn't even matter. Uh, anyway, as we chloroform a guy... Uh... Yes. For a while. Thank at you. least he's in the this light of a torch. So, you know, we, uh, with, with the torch, uh, we may be able to, nope, oh, come on, button. Buttons are hard in this game. Uh, still, we, uh, made it. Uh, yeah, we chloroformed him, but it's fine. Uh, anyway. I, instead of worrying about that, I do want to first make, nope. Buttons, what are buttons? There we go. I'll make a few of these. So I can pick up that sulfur. Or that rock. Anyway, uh... Move. I'll try. If we lower that, I'm going to drop it. Look out. Be okay, we can follow this. Yeah. Up. Lucas, are you supposed not? Wait here. I'll be quick. Come on, the coast is clear. Oh, okay. Think you can do this? Oh. He's okay. We're doing that. Yep. And hopefully he'll actually run over this time. Come on, come with us. No. Not with, not with the rats in the way. Oh, yep. I need to go with this way with the this, and then go. Okay. So he's not supposed to come over. This is a temporary thing. Got it. I understand perfectly. So, anyway, uh, our next kind of big topic that we're going to uh, ramble about us for a while, because I think I said enough about this, because. Uh, about alchemy, because we've not run into any recently. Uh, though I guess to kind of sum up, with the thoughts in this game, uh, I should not have made that, but that's fine. Uh, within this game, the things we've seen an alchemist do is create fire bombs, which, you know, the materials would have been available to do that, but that definitely would not have been their intention if they were making fire bombs that is accidental. Uh, making chloroform, which again is not intentional, uh, would not be intentional, but let's actually take a look at what materials are used for that. Come on. Hey. Oh, I can't do it while this is up. Uh, I'll have to wait until I drop the stick. Uh, creating chloroform, and, 
helping to cure a mysterious disease. None of that is uh, impossible using medieval technologies, but it definitely would be a little bit uh, unusual. That's not good. Huh? Oh, she's covered in dirt. Uh, luckily, uh, Amicia is, at least at the moment, covered in dirt and is not actually sick of the plague. I don't know if that'll stay true, but it's true right now when we take those. That and that and none of that. Uh, anyway, I wanted to take a look, nope, uh, take a look here at what we need for Somnum. It is, uh, looks like saltpeter and sulfur and alcohol and cloth. So it's actually also... It's actually... Oh, interesting. So the Ignifer actually doesn't need sulfur. Or doesn't need saltpeter, sorry. It's just sulfur and alcohol. Uh, so this is also kind of just a uh, bomb question mark? <laughs> uh, we're poisoning them with uh, bomb making materials. Um, not optimal, but... You know, we we roll with that. Well, that looks a lot better. And uh, let's see, codex and crafting. Yeah, because highly volatile modified alcohol that when it evaporates in the human respiratory tract causes the subject to fall into a deep sleep. So yeah, we're just getting them really freaking drunk instantaneously. It's it's that ever clear. Uh, do. Give them everything until they black out, and it will be fine. Anyway, uh, yeah. The other thing I wanted to talk about today, uh, as we're going, is that, well, if I describe this game to you, uh, I could describe it as an older playable character guides a young child that is unique in some way, uh, through a post-apocalyptic uh, hellscape, uh, learning to be closer to them as while well doing so. You may notice that describes The Last of Us a little bit very well. So, yeah, we, I don't think it's really possible to overstate just how much this... Oh, uh, oh boy, this is going to be a fun time. Uh, let's go, let's go. We're not holding it back. No, run. Luckily, run we run faster than these guys do. So we are fine. All right. it worked. <laughs> Did Lucas die? <gasps> Lucas died! Are you serious? He just... And I made it to the checkpoint too. Lucas! My guy! Oh cool, I've got Ballasty there, and there's the Chateau up there. <coughs> Turns out... I thought he was immune to death too. Turns out we are both mistaken. Uh, Anyway, uh, sorry dude. You don't even know what it takes you. Oh crap, I don't know where I'm going. Nope, can't be here. Can't not be there. Lucas? There, on the tower. Those are bodies, aren't they? Yes. Oh. Bodies. Where? Up there. Okay. Yeah. We can knock over the siege tower. Okay. Uh... Yeah. What the... I still don't know what the hell I'm doing though, because that doesn't work. I can't get past these. They're gonna come running at me. Nope. They're not. Hugo, please don't be able to don't like me. God damn it. God dang it. Yep, that did not go so well. Uh, neat. 
Let's try that again. Huh. I'm not really sure what I'm doing. Hey, he killed himself once. That's not my fault. That being said, I'm not sure how I get from point A to point B. At all. Is there another thing I can break? Anything else I can light on fire? Not down? No. So... Not sure what the hell I'm supposed to do? Oh, there's a torch here. Okay. Uh... Found it! I can do this. Seriously? Lucas? My guy. And then if I can light this here, then... Now we're good. Exactly! He's an AI companion, and if the AI companions are dumb, it's not my problem. It's not even slightly my fault if the AI is incredibly stupid. Hmm. That must be just to get back if I needed to. I'm not sure what other good purpose it would do, but since I've got it, let's actually go here. here and then, you know, see, see what's going on over here. No, nothing. Nothing at all. Okay. Let's see if we hold on to one of these then. On the way in. Good, you can come. And I'll help you up. go this way. Here we go. Oh come on! No, you're not allowed to be sick. What's the matter? My head. The macula. He's afraid. We have to get out of here. Hugo. Hugo. Think of the frogs. Frogs are good. Remember how they jumped? Frogs are very good. We're chasing them. They'll definitely be a valid cure. Let's go and see some more. Yes. We have to get out of here, Amicia. We will. Hey, it worked. It worked kind of. Huzzah! We made it! Anyway, so yeah, this game has a whole lot of inspiration from The Last of Us and it's not very subtle about it. Uh, I mean, it also draws on a lot of other horror tropes like kind of World War One footage of the mountains of corpses, uh, that just being innately horrible, the body horror of wriggling things exploding, but it draws a lot of crap. It draws a lot from The Last of Us, too. Uh, Ha uh -huh. That that doesn't that sentence doesn't work as well now that there's two lasts of us. Exactly. This this is true. It would be very. Very significantly weird, uh, for, hmm. You're not facing that way, right? Okay. Thank you. Ah. Crap. Uh, throw a rock here? Nope. Not that one. We'll throw a rock here and then immediately go down this noise. There we go. Great success. Lucas, are you with me? Yeah, thank you. I see something there. Oh crap. What way are you going to face? Good, you're not facing the way. Oh, mother. 
Alicia. I'm very tired. Yeah, yeah. Look, there are trees again. I think oh, we're getting to the end. That was close. Finally. That was very close. Uh, he saw us, but we jumped over a wall, and uh, that was good enough to escape the problems. Watch out. Say something, asshole. That's my sister, you bastard. Now let us go. You'll never see us again, I swear. <laughs> no chance. Where I come from, we execute Lewis on the spot. What do we do? Too risky. This way. Um. Hey, what about them? You're just gonna let them go? What? Hey! Now! Well, fair. Fair play. That worked well. Go 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 Hey, it's the same model of guy, but the English and the French are exactly the same. Oh, crap. Come on. Ah, uh, clobbed over the head. Well, that went well. Ta-da, we beat the Raven Spoils. Okay. Those of you who have seen the show regularly, uh, know pretty well my hardware troubles. And I can feel... actually, it's doing okay right now. I'm shocked. My ice packs are sufficing for the time being. So we're gonna let them keep sufficing and get stuck right in on chapter 6. We're in jail now. Hey, wakey wakey. Bury something. You're lucky, you know. Your everyday corpse robber usually gets a sword in the belly. No questions asked. But me, I've got an eye for that fancy jewelry. And you're lucky I like gold better than blood, Lady Darun. Where is my brother? Uh, shut up. The better you look, the higher the ransom. Uh, my bruise let's see, 1340. The ransom? Who's paying it? Oh, you'll see soon enough. You're not in your shadow anymore, so cork it, alright? Let's see, the 30... yeah. These are really nice iron cages. Uh, and generally a really advanced camp. For the 14th century, this is not unreasonable. We are, after all, only about 20 years before, uh... We're only, a, like, 20 years before gunpowder starts making its way into Europe. Uh, the next campaign of the Hundred Years' War, culminating in the Siege of Calais, uh, actually has bombards, uh, as part of its set of myths, uh, part of the siege. So, it's entirely... You know, at this point, uh, it's not so unreasonable, uh, but we're getting broken out of jail. Who are you, Melly? The other one's Arthur. This is all your fault. Where is my brother? Hey, keep your voice down. Those dogs took my sling. You don't need uh, it. Ah, dang it. Okay, we are in trouble right now. Uh, you know, these are... These are big, but they're, uh, actually... Let's pause so we can actually take a look at that. Uh, let's see. Height. That is smaller than the biggest trebuchet. Uh, that's historically tested. But you're right, this is a rather comical, uh, comically sized trebuchet. Uh, on average you're looking at something probably half this size. As normal, but it is, like, the biggest one, uh, which I think, if I'm remembering right, is termed the Warwolf. Uh, was used against Sterling Castle, and it needed something like 60 carts to haul all of its pieces. Uh, so it is, yeah, it is absolutely insanely big, uh, but yeah. That, these would be comparable to that, so these are definitely kind of oversized. But the rough design is right, it's just big. Okay. How? A distraction. He's waiting for us to tell him where and what, so keep your eyes open. So we need a... Hmm, that's a locked thing. I go here. Drugs. Not very well placed. Okay. So they're telling us what we can and can't do. These that. Bottles. 
Okay. Then we only have one other choice. The cart. That'll do the trick. There we go. For what? Yep. To follow me. Uh, I mean, it looks like they uh may have. So he's your brother. Come on. What weird thing was that? Uh, anyway. Uh, yeah. I think the reason they're set up is that this is, well, why it's being set up in the dead center of the camp right now is a bit hard. But you know. Oh crap, no that's not good. Uh, whoops. Oh cool, he's going all the way over there. Should be okay. Where are alone with those butchers. So yeah. They won't hurt him. You don't understand. If he's afraid, you have to be patient. Yep, uh weird have bad luck explaining to them. Anyway, uh cool, we got actually washing boards here. Uh, all this stuff. This one looks pretty decent for a military camp. Uh, for this period, it's not perfect, but where the hell are these bloody rats coming from? Solidly decent. Is it a Volwar trick or something? No. We have to clear the way. Rats have decimated Volwar villages. Thousands of deaths have been reported from bites or contagion. It is a divine plague, and this is just the beginning. And yeah. There we go. King Edward must order a this is true. He does in fact order a retreat. Uh, the campaigning of the Hundred Years' War more or less pauses. The barrel with the spears. Well done. Get ready to go. Uh, the moment. Uh, once the Black Death hits, because everyone's like, yeah, this is. Let's go. This is really bad. Uh, and everyone's like, yeah, we can't do this. Uh, right now. So, uh, manages to be okay. Well, we are crawling through the middle of a lot of What's that, then? people. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Uh, yeah. I did. Is it a or something? No. Rats I just didn't get far enough on time. Apparently, I thought it was actually doing good on speed, but you know. It is a divine plague, and this is just the beginning. There's no That's all right. With the spears. Well done. King get ready to go. Let's do this a bit better this time, I guess. But yeah, uh, I mean, in this world, it doesn't seem. The the uh Watch out for the bottles. Mm. Ah, it doesn't seem to be anyway, oof. I just spaced out while trying to concentrate. It doesn't seem to be the case that uh the Black Death was universally interpreted as a uh Divinely sent plague, but it definitely was in the air as a thing people were aware of and thinking about. But anyway, uh, there does seem to be a... this time in 1348 the idea of there being still active campaigning uh, in the Valois are... is fine. So. And, the and, the and here we get the classic uh, knight, knight versus superior English longbow uh, that kind of manifests at the biggest in Agincourt. Uh, in 1348, this is well. Hmm. Because I'm saying we're going underneath that. Uh, yeah, this is a, just a very English bow thing. Uh, but yeah, the idea of it is, you know, fine. Uh, it is the stereotypical narrative about the Hundred Years' War. And the longbow is, of course, extremely important. Uh, Skills from the time of the war are legendary. He's no longer in the service of King Philip. 
It is rather odd to be so interested in the children. Why don't you go ask the sister some questions? She must be well, away. Well, this isn't good. Oh, no, don't worry. It was bound to happen. Well, they're about to get on the word. Uh, as soon as we... We get out of here, we'll be okay. But yeah, uh, they are in the middle of a lot of... Exactly. There's a lot going on more complicated than just bows versus knights, but you know, a little bit later when you get to Ashen Core. What are you doing? This is not the time. I'm making your rescue profitable. That's what I do. Can I open this, please? I, I want. I saw powder. Probably for alchemy. Useless. No. I can use it. If you want me to open it, just say. Yes. Would you? Please. Okay. Okay, Melly can, can pick locks for us. Perfect. And Enjoy. there we go. We can get sulfur and saltpeter. Great. So we can make more bombs. Or more sleep stuff. Uh, but right now I don't have access to things, right? Yeah. I can't act I can't open it at all. Uh can't open any of the menus, so right now. Right now we're gonna oh boy. Do this, apparently? Because who needs peripheral vision? Holy God, no one has. They have no peripheral vision here. Oh. Our bread and wine. oh, I'm full on alcohol. I think. Defeats the whole purpose, and we got some roast pigs there. So yeah, I mean, I like the look of this as a military camp. Crazy. What? We got through, didn't we? Uh, it's. A bit fancy, and the scale of it is pretty, pretty ridiculously large. But the rough idea of it, uh, nothing in here stands out to me as out of place for the 14th century. So at least plausible, if not. My brother. I do. Anyway, uh, the ransom, uh, including the idea of ransoming people. Yep. What do you mean, the girl? Come on, spit it out. The girl's escaped. The cage is open. Oh boy. American. Uh, the castle in the. The the castle in the previous uh level is. Okay. Am I supposed to just go over the top here and just free Hugo? Uh, come on. Hugo, I'm here. Please, here. Are you all right? Are you hurt? No, get me out, please. We have to here get the cage down. Oh, it's all right, Hugo. Boy. Listen, my sling. Did they have it when they locked you up? Yes, they put it in the trunk there. Right. Oh, right here. Perfect. Melly, can you look after it? We are good. Oh, so in the previous thing, uh, there's a castle, and that's actually where we were trying to go. Uh, past the old aqueduct. So we uh finally now Hugo, I need to get the cage down. We uh that's the thing they're sieging. Uh we walked through a dead battlefield that was full of rats. Uh but a lot of dead Melly, the lock. Uh a lot of dead people, way too many uh Easy. dead people. That would be a huge battle. It would be right, Hugo. pretty much to get out of here. a reasonable sized uh, 13th century army, uh, dead. In the 14th century, it's a little bit better because national, uh, national levies from for Philip and Edward are both possible. But it still is a big battle. Yeah, you, you would think, uh, you you would definitely think that is a that the ability to use or that not just abandoning the other hostage in case there's an escape attempt since you know they're related you would think that that would be smart but no they just don't do it uh yeah it is basically uh one of that scale of bot of things. Which, yeah, is not at all the bodies just jumbled together like there was a big melee instead of two sides. Uh. Crap.
Not really sure where we're going here. Uh, you luckily you are turning that way, so let's move. Okay, we're just doing that. We're just gonna go murder people whenever we need to. Can you do it, Melly? All right. Bye. Come on. Nailed it. Uh, we are doing more for the French cause than uh, lots of people do. Do you want some more? I still have some. Wait, but you didn't die. Oh, you did die. Okay. Really? You didn't? Did I just miss? What? I landed that, come on! Come on, I totally landed that. Boo! Okay. Anyway, uh, yeah. Well, so yeah. I think the biggest problem with this area is just scale, not any sort of fundamental issue. But anyway, uh, yeah, we do seem to have swords, but... Uh, Angry American, in the 14th century, everyone having swords is totally fine. Uh, they were mass-producing swords by this time, which is the second campaign of the Hundred Years' War. Uh, or the second largest campaign of the Second Years' War, or of the Hundred Years' War. So, it is entirely reasonable, uh, though, by no means a mother. Are you sure about that? Completely. I've had enough of running. Come on. Nail it. Uh, <laughs> there we go. And they drop alcohol when I murder them, so, you know, that's fun. Meanwhile, uh, we got more rocks, so we're back up to a decent chunk of it. Uh, meanwhile, you're dead too. <laughs> we are, in fact, doing great amounts of murder. Uh, it's fine. We've been traumatized enough that we just don't give a shit anymore. As it should be. Uh, let's actually try and make some Somnus, because I guess that way if we get caught again, we might be able to do something. Uh, and that gives lets us pick up more alcohol. So that we're you know, at least you know using that. And that way if we screw up... Uh, That way, if we screw up, we're not totally screwed. Uh, we just screwed up. Uh, we just have a get out of jail free. Oh crap! Back up! Back up! Back up! Back up! Back up! If you walk up here, I'm gonna be mad, and I'm just gonna kill you. Am I understood? Thank you. <laughs> I think it's because they're buried in people's faces. That would be my go-to explanation as to why... why that's a thing, is that there's just too much face, uh, in... too much face on the rocks. Oh boy. That's not good. That's... that's very not good. So yeah, guess who paid our ransom? I pay a ransom for the Daron children, and I have to capture them myself. Yep. These Plantagenets are useless. They are quiet. He's going to slaughter us. Belly, run! Hey, bomb him! Hell yeah! Hey. 
Run. Run. Here we go. Uh, up, 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 up. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nicholas, you can talk all you want. We're not going to pay attention and let a bench now. Damn it. Yeah, I, I know. But I was that's where I was going. You could have done anything. Okay, I need to take him out. Uh Nailed it. I love that auto tracking. That rock definitely curved in the air. Uh, that's just an executioner go. Um, okay, uh, could I stop looking? I want to take a look at what else we've got. Uh, oh boy. That's a lot of them. Voila! Just drop. Oh, and yeah, right below where all the executions happen. Oh boy. Oh boy. And Arthur to the day again! Me! And run, 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 and we're good. We totally made it. We are fine. Nothing to worry about. We're fine. It's all fine. Ah, so yeah, we just depopulated an entire English camp. Uh, so yeah, there is a war going on, as it turns out. So yeah, uh, after that action set piece, let's go back to... Uh, well, maybe not. Maybe Lucas got out, maybe maybe Arthur got out. And maybe we will just have our happy band and everyone will be fine and make it out of the troubles and... We'll figure out what the rats are doing together and call it a day. I don't believe that. This is the game is too much the last of us to get have that many happy endings in a row. We have to hide. Arthur and I know a place. And Lucas, he's waiting at your chateau. All in good time. We're going to see Lucas again? <laughs> I hope so. I like Lucas. He's nice. He is nice. Save your breath, Hugo. We're on the right track. Let's keep moving. We're not safe yet. Okay. Oh yeah, that kind of Sith helmet is not at all legitimate. Uh, Nose is like very much, I would say, inspired by a late... Going? No, Sorry. I was talking. What the hell are you doing with the Inquisition uh, What's so special about the little guy? It's complicated. And what about your brother? Will he be alright? He'll catch up with us. He really saved our lives. It was incredible. Hey, yeah. Don't get all lovey-dovey. He'll break your poor little heart. <laughs> I, 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 no. Hey, I'm in. I'm in. Yeah. We're going to use it to cross. Anyway, Whoa. uh, that kind of helmet uh looks like it's at least Is he always very, very, very like slightly that? inspired by like late crusading out of this isn't the things. best moment to start. Uh, but at the same time, it's totally fantasy, like, oh look, there's a cross in the skull, in the thing, it's Inquisition, obviously. So, yeah, it's, it is solidly fantasy medieval, as, you know, many things in this are. Uh, but, that's okay, not everything needs to be grounded, because we have very, 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 uh, Bigger issues of narrative if we're worried about things being genuinely medieval, uh, rather than the size of a trebuchet. Let's worry about the five quadrillion mats. The current's too strong. How are we going to get across? By stopping it. And how are we going to stop? It? But like this, we'll it'll, find a way. it'll be really easy. The current's slowing down, but not enough. There must be something else. Hmm. I mean, you can't make it, you sure? I see something over there. What's over here? Ah, perfect, this. Let's put on the brakes. 
Yep. So, yeah, like, that's my interpretation is that it's late crusading, which is not far off of this period. Uh, there we go. If you do that, you do that, Hugo can cross. And then something? I noticed that's a problem. Uh, go on, Hugo. Yes. If Hugo goes there, I can go over there, and then Nelly can go over there. Right, I think that's flawless. Wait. So if I do this, then we're still good. And then I can grab this one, and off we can go. There we go, there's the mill wheel. And there's this. I love this quiet moment, it's really, really nice. And much like, as I keep saying, like, this game takes a lot for The Last of Us, I want to dig a bit deeper in that, because obviously yes. the, uh... Can you do it, no, ah. crap. That was not what I wanted to do. Uh... No, stop. Understood. Uh... Anyway, uh... Changing, uh... And there you go. See? Simple. Uh, the it's setting of it from near future apocalyptic uh, to the Middle Ages is, you know, really kind of interesting. I don't have a whole lot uh, coherent to say to start, but I definitely want to talk about that because there's the idea of changing it uh, that fundamentally, is really kind of cool. I maybe should have saved things. Uh, no, actually, I'm actually I'm okay on that. I just need a little bit more salt to, to do this. Ooh, that's actually really, really, really good. Uh, that's okay. Uh, cool, two shots in a row is really big. And the sl Yep. So this is good, and if we can get these ones, that'll be also incredibly important. But obviously I've got to upgrade some of these a little bit, a little bit more in order to even make that possible. So yeah, I'm curious, do you guys... We'll go through here. Come on. Do you guys have thoughts? Because... <laughs> Uh, the genre stylings of The Last of Us are really good for telling it emotionally dark. I hope so. I doubt this castle is going to look like much. Why? This used to be a village, but it was reduced to rubble in just one night. Yeah. Some say there's a curse around these parts. Amicia? She's joking, Hugo. Of course I am. Since when do I say anything true, eh? Yeah, yeah. Uh... Do people live here then? Yes. But they left. Where did they go? Somewhere else. A bit like us. Yes. A bit like us. What is... Wasn't there a thingy right here with like a horseshoe and stuff? Doesn't it have this building? Where is the entrance to it? Let me go in. Let me in. No? Okay. Uh, yeah, they, they'd be mostly, uh, wood structures. The, even in the early modern period, they'd be mostly stone, uh, wood structures. Uh, this definitely feels like a much more modern village to me than a medieval one. Uh, with all these low stone buildings is really kind of almost 19th century? Oh. Hey, I found oh, another flower. I think. Nobody likes it because of the thorns, but it's good for the heart. Well, aren't you a fountain uh, of knowledge? Indeed. Me, he, he is a you fountain of knowledge. Me, then. And will you teach me how to use the sling? It's a deal. Yeah, Hawthorne. A thorny bush used to mark out the borders of gardens and properties. Hawthorne has become a symbol of cautious hope. It is the subject of many legends, the most prestigious of which depicts it as Christ's crown of thorns. When ingested as an infusion, it regulates the heartbeat and combats shortness of breath. Oh, once again, I don't really have any way of testing, actually checking if that's something believed in the period. 
Uh, unlike Gladiolus, uh, this one definitely looks possible. I would be very curious to see where they're getting their information from. Uh, <laughs> yep. Very much Viking ship, very much that. Anyway, uh, yeah, but of course, I'm not saying that, like, uh, it borrowing from The Last of Us in not so subtle ways is a bad thing by any means. I don't think it is. The Last of Us is a phenomenal game, and clearly, like, changing the setting to be a fictionalized form of an actual pandemic changes the uh, re resulting narrative in dramatic ways. So, what were I, you up to? Just a detour. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna do more detours. You're gonna have to live with it. Uh, uh, but it is very much uh, drawing from it, and it affects the way like we're thinking about the Middle Ages and thinking about uh, kind of moments of light and darkness uh, in the narrative from it. Uh, so, like as an example, the in some cases they lean into very simplified narratives uh, about different uh, medieval Lucia. people. Uh, you go, so you have what are the. You doing? Come here. Uh, uh, Hugo. Uh, Hugo, look at me. Uh, Is it starting again? Your head. It's like something's going inside. My legs, my legs are shaking. Don't say he's been bitten. It's not the bite. It's something in his blood since he was little. I'll have to carry him. Climb on my back if you can. Come anyway, on. uh... So... Sorry. Like, leans Don't into, worry. like... If it's in the, his blood. What about you? I'm fine. Uh, the, the Inquisition, uh... Blood, and the, the English, show. especially, are kind of portrayed in a very simplistic way, uh, so, scared. with little bits of, of humanization. What's in my head? Don't worry. We're all scared of what's in our heads. Here Ooh, we are. psychology. You'll be able to uh -huh. At last. Help me lift this. I'm coming. Hugo, can you climb down, please? And we carried him for 30 seconds, and now we're fine. Uh, don't worry about it. Anyway, uh... Yo, the. I'll let this cutscene play oh. before I keep going. Is this your house? It's a hideout, lad. It's meant for hiding out, not banquets with lords and ladies. Don't touch that. It's my brother's. That's where the lot that is. Uh huh. How long have you been living like this? Like ruffians and beggars, you mean? Family tradition. Our dad was a piece Oof. of rubbish. Tried to beat us one time too many, so we skedaddled. But you, you're almost royalty. Royalty? <laughs> Monsieur. What does huh mean? I'm cold. Can't you see? Look at us. We've lost everything. What do you mean? Who's going to pay us then? What are you talking about? Your mate Lucas. He said you're rich. Just I... forget it, all right? Take Arthur's straw mattress, and when he finally gets here, we'll have a proper discussion. Well... Thank you, Lucas. You didn't make that a problem at all. Uh, yeah, we have no money. Uh, practically royalty. We were rich uh, until three days ago. We're no longer rich. And also, this place is going to get swarmed by rats. I'm sure of it. Oh, no, Inquisition. Better. So, see anything? These are clearly French, so we're fine. No, we're not fine, uh, but... Hey, men! This way! I need some help! And pull that out, and... Yeah. Well, the key got left, so Arthur must be fine. Where uh, Outside. Yes. But now, Just feeling fine. Me. Yep. And your brother? Should have been here by now. That's the so thing. Don't uh, give up on him just yet. Angry American, uh, this isn't, uh... Well, the Black Death is obviously traumatic, uh, it's clearly not the end of the world, and it was never meant as such, and 
the bite is really, really bad, but yeah, it is. Devorantis. What? Devorantis. Sulpita and alcohol. It burns your face and melts steel. No one can keep oh, the helmet on with that. Jeez. Get some ready. That's all right. Nah, not good. Uh pull this button. Nope. Nope. Uh that one. There we go. To make some. Hold A to fast. Aim for the helmet. And then uh, you know, uh Oh boy. This is bad. Uh Hit him on the head with a rock. On. Yeah, yeah, working on it. Uh There we go. So Made it. It's too easy. Try to be a bit more enthusiastic with you. Yeah, so that's not a good solution. Uh it's an emergency get up jail card. Uh but I don't like that at all. Also, Saul Peter and Alcohol would not have that res result. Uh Saul Peter in this period was not primarily used for alchemy, though it was used as I read in the recipe from uh John of Rufus Chissa. But what it was primarily used for was curing uh, meats. Stay here and not a sound. All right. And you ain't that one. Thank you. Have a nice day. Go, go. All right. And so yeah. Uh, oh, crap. I don't know how I get, I don't think I get past that guy, so it's gotta be Lure this guy over here. What was that noise? Oh crap. Uh if you're going this way, I'm just gonna back up into the thing until you turn around and then I'm gonna kill you. You know? I like, guess you do. Since I conveniently walked out into the middle of the thing. Nothing. Huh? I thought you had turned around. Hmm. Turn around better. All right. Please. Thank you. Nailed it. Well, we are just conflicting great amounts of murder, so. Uh, Whoops. And then I've got to go here. Well, let me make a couple more of these. A rock with salty and alcohol. Anyway, yeah. Uh, it was primarily used as... No. Yeah. So yeah, Saul Peter is primarily used to cure meats, and that is, to some extent, still a purpose it's used for. But yeah. Oh, fun. Okay, so there's the entrance of the chateau. You have the sling, so you go first. Hugo, you keep a lookout and stay quiet. All right. Understood. They're still looking for me. Yes, they are. And I've got a small problem of... These guys are looking at me, so I can't freaking do anything until... They get a bit closer. Uh, I wonder if there's a way to stealth this. Because luckily he's patrolling, so we're fine. You turned around, so yeah, let's move. Okay, there's one there, but uh... We can actually get into this one. Nice. So yeah, we're gonna try and do this uh, proper like, and not uh, result in everything going badly. Ah, crap. And he's wearing a helmet too. Hmm. You know, I genuinely don't know about that. Uh, okay, you're going there to there. 
can't really hide in that. Okay, if I can hide behind this thing as soon as you two turn around, I can get behind this log and hopefully use that to sneak. But these guys are on a cycle, clearly. Oh. And it is quite dark here. So maybe we'll be okay? I don't care what this guy's doing. Uh, Something nope, uh... Dang. I still died. Two of them got me. Uh... It may have to be murder o'clock before we're done here. Uh... But I did make progress. I just... I can definitely make it, I just have to kill this one last guy, uh, who I doesn't look like is actually wearing a helmet, maybe? Not super sure. So, we will see, I would like to be able to make it, uh, but he goes way the hell out here, which I don't know what he's trying to do, so like, whatever. You go here, and then... To be able to make it to here, no problem. No problem. Then you're the problem. You aren't wearing a helmet, are you? Are you? No, he is. Damn. Okay. Yeah, he is. Okay. So I'll have to wait for the next cycle and then be able to go. Uh, but yeah, I I don't know if these torches are accurate, like... I suspect not, but I don't really have a way to, uh... Test that. Oh, I should've... Okay, so... Once this guy starts walking, we move behind here again. As a, we should be under cover? Uh... As long as, like, I have no idea how far you see. Okay, and we're just gonna cut straight across into this. And be fine. Okay. Good. That's what I like to see with this guy. Ah oh, crap, but if we distract him... Yeah, okay. I know how we can do that, we can just... Distract this guy, cut across into there, and across into that one. And go behind stuff. Came from over there. Progress. That's right, you were there. I have nothing to report. I've never seen an explosion like it. My ears are still ringing. We got the one who did it, though. A young thief who was helping the Darunes. He's being held at the Bastion for interrogation. He should think himself lucky. If he didn't have information about the boy, he'd be little... Wow. So they got Arthur. That's not good. Shit. Shit. <sighs> Melly, I'm... No. Wait. Oh, crap. So actually, if you stay close... Wait there. I'll be back soon. Wait I'm gonna sneak soon. up this way and then... So, still nothing? Grab these. Of men for just some kids. kids. Yep. And the Grand Inquisitor is being oh pretty boy. tough on Lord Nicholas. The coast is clear. Ladies first. Okay, I want that guy to turn around, so then I'll see how many get distracted by this. 
If it's two, I'll just freaking run, uh, and hopefully make it, uh, but... I hope it's just one of them. Perfect. Perfect. We'll see how engaged you are in looking around. Oh boy. That is close. That was really close. Okay, uh, there's like one more thing to do? Because there's the four colors. Okay, so he's gonna walk back this way, right? Uh, I can throw one more rock to distract him when I have a clear shot across to there. I don't know what I need to do to get a clear shot across where that guy has to be facing. So yeah, we're not going for the murder clock, uh, but yeah. It'll be one of the two. I really don't know which one's gonna be. There we go. Ah, crap, I lost my chance. Uh, that's frustrating. Okay, so I need to wait for the next cycle. Basically, when that guy's uh, most of the way walked this way, we're gonna try and go back and swing the other way. So yeah, anyway, uh, to kind of finish up one of the thoughts I had had, Okay, let's go. Uh, about The Last of Us, uh, seeing a kind of uh, related, I should say. I don't care about those enough. I'm not going to bother. Even though I definitely had time, I just don't. Nearly there. The don't have... is down. There's always a side entrance. Okay, side entrance, let's move. We made it. Uh, something that's helpful with kind of using The Last of Us as a genre yeah, let's uh, get out of here. comparison. Go ahead. So kind uh, of you, Your Highness. As trying to really focus on the psychology of this, because the Black Death uh, is a oh crap, that's Lucas. Uh, should be arriving soon with fresh supplies. They'll take you to the Inquisition Bastion in town. Amicia, do you have any Tevarantis left? Yes, then go on. Knock his helmet off. Uh, okay, knocking it off. Uh... Unbelievable. What you're gonna... <laughs> I'm so glad to see you again. So yeah, it's some kind of like Greek fire thing, looks like, with this hey. green. It's very weird. Uh, or stereotypical Greek style. So yeah, it is a. Uh, we did good. I heard that. And what about you, Lucas? How are you? Can we talk while we run, or we can sit down with some? Yeah, yeah. You're you're being snarky about the fact we're in the building. Let's move. Come on. It's not far to the aqueduct. Let's move. Anyway, the cinematic style and uh, you have the, deal. the one where your friends are rich. But we'll sort it out. Tell my brother that. What's all this? An accident? An nope. Inquisition cart. And a lot of rats. There must be things we can salvage from inside. I don't see how we can get past. Oh, Amicia, I have some. Oh, for you. oh no. It's a byproduct of Ignifer. Luminosa. Well, you throw it into a pile of rats and... Anyway, you'll see. This is yeah. gonna be interesting. Yeah, we are we are great. We are generally great at being heroes. Alcohol and leather. Mix them together. Uh, All right. leather? That's not helpful. Oh, this button. I know what buttons are. Uh, I don't like that we're having to use my leather for this. Throw it to the rats. It's a powerful source of light. Okay. Here we go! Kaboom! Luminous. My eyes sting. It completely destroyed them. Lucas, okay. it's packed full of our chemical material. Makes sense. The Inquisition. They couldn't have got as far as the Mercury without reading their chemical writings. 
I don't know what they're up to, but whatever it is, these cards will be useful. Okay, I don't have the ability to make anything, so we're not going to worry about that and just worry about just trying to gather as much as we can before the rats come back. There we go. So yeah, we made it. Uh, <laughs> yup, very much a uh, cool. Well, so yeah, to start that part for the fourth time because I am just very bad at uh, talking. Uh, the benefit of the cinematic uh, apocalyptic style of The Last of Us is for this narrative is that it helps us really get into the psychology of these characters and just how traumatic it is because there's a really heavy focus on trauma and the emotional weight of what we are doing as we are trying to survive and that reflects 14th century mentalities uh uh quite, quite well uh not totally accurately, it's using modern uh, images of psychology, but still trying to get into some of the trauma quite well. Or relatively well. Anyway, uh, they mentioned the quote-unquote alchemical texts. Uh, there are a whole lot of them. What's a funny thing that most alchemical texts do uh, is that there is a kind of clause in all those texts that swears everyone to secretly, uh, to secrecy, despite it being an immensely popular and well-disseminated group of texts. Is that it? Uh, There's nothing here. Lucas, I... Don't tell me we've done all this for nothing. No, no, no. Laurentius was smart in that. <laughs> the alchemist's trick. Gold is born from or dead. iron or copper. The door shall only oh, reveal itself, itself to the, the one who has, has the key, key, which is Arthur's key. Like that. Mm. I prefer use your eyes before using your mouth. Who's going first? Nice one. Uh, Amicia? Come on then. We've come this far. Okay. My girl. Now we get in there. Uh, keep going. And yeah. So, alchemy, it was not part of a university curriculum. Uh, the ones that are taught are uh, medicine, uh, astronomy, uh, geometry, music theory, and crap, what's the fourth of the quadrivium? Uh, astronomy, music theory, uh, geometry, and uh, I don't remember what the fourth one is. It's not alchemy. Oh, wow. uh, but Alchemy uh, was practiced no, by university educated hey, uh, people. people, and so it kind of exists place. right on the We're fringe on the right of formal natural philosophy for most of the Middle Ages, uh, I've, being practiced by all before. sorts of Unless big names. Where is it? Well, if you want to know, we'll have to get across first. Uh, and. Because of that, uh, well done. despite claims to secrecy, uh, it's a very poorly kept secret. Unfortunately, the fact that there are clauses of uh, secrecy is one of the many things that kind of makes alchemy really, really easy to throw into narratives where it doesn't make sense and tied into like Templar or Freemason conspiracy theories about the Middle Ages, with the idea being that if they have the secret knowledge that they wrote down, imagine the things that they didn't. This is nonsensical, like, the things that they had, they wrote down, uh, but the conspiracy theories are about alchemy are incredibly popular and it's something that, you know, they, they do a lot of. Come and help instead of sleeping. Oh, nice. You uh, guys. Yes. You yes. guys can do a lot. Well, that's because there are a lot of things living in it. Yes, there are. It must be very hard. Once, father took us to the lake of Tool, and I slipped and fell in the water. It was so cold it made me cry. <laughs> I would have cried too. Let's get in. Your boat awaits. Shall yes, I get you in? go get in. I hope they can swim. And I expect that they'll go across. Oh, right. there you go. oh no. Oh, I have a bad feeling about this. 
I have a really. Oh, that's because of the monster. What? A monster? Of course. The underground lakes are magical. Huge, ancient monsters hide in their depths. So. Watch out! They're very hungry. No, they're not. And if there were monsters, I, uh... we'd see some big bugs. Oh yeah. There's loads of, al of alchemy conspiracy theories. Uh, a lot of like modern esotericism really likes the idea of alchemy as kind of a purification of the inner self, uh, as well as trying to con uh, constitute and remove impurities from the outer self to transform base metals into gold. There's also more straight up conspiracy theories. Like, I mean, if we look at it like, uh, yeah, it. Like, an example of a kind of narrative of like Da Vinci Code-esque stuff involving alchemists uh, comes in like Uncharted 3, with John Dee being part of the conspiracy to hide away uh, whatever lost cities in that game. Uh, so, uh, cool. It didn't have the terrible consequences that I thought it would have. I appreciate that. Come on, sit, sit in. And I just go. Uh, but yeah, the uh. It's all behind us now. But anything that takes my fancy the castle is mine, alright? Fair enough. They made it across. I thought they were gonna get caught up on the other side. All right, let's keep going. Let's keep going. So, uh, the, that's the kind of narrative of like Uncharted Three, where John D is secretly have found this great secret, and something about it was so scary that he helped hide it away. Uh, that kind of conspiracy theory. Also, Da Vinci Code does that. All of that sort of stuff. Uh, of people who walk that line between what we would term scientist and alchemist, though that's not a meaningful dis distinction in the Middle Ages, uh, are really subject to conspiracy theories uh, and the potencies of the present. Make some room. Uh, oh, you just have faith a lot, not bad. Yep. So yeah, th done. those kinds of things are what I mean when I say conspiracy theory, but there's plenty- Oh, uh, there you go. Of course. I hadn't missed them a bit. And yeah, also the weird symbols like, uh, I mean, let's pull up vitriol again here, uh, let me, oh, in the codex, that, like, you have here, uh, some kind of hidden knowledge, uh, that deals with the unity of spiritus and corpus, and presumably the last one is animus, uh, so literally spirit and, also spirit, but breath and body. And these symbols, the uh, decre or deck names, uh, as one of many ciphers, re recording some kind of secret occult thing that they actually were able to turn things into gold and were hiding it away, and there must be great treasures somewhere. Uh, yeah, it's that kind of thing is very much appealing to modern esotericism, and is very much in line with what things alchemy and alchemical texts uh, are thought to contain, though with very little relevance to what they anyway? do contain. It's... Oh, it can't be. I have to see this from closer up. Yeah. What is this? That pit. What, Lucas? Be careful. Just please be careful. Like cast. Easy. The bridges oh. push the rats towards the pit and they get trapped there. Could be useful. Who built it? That is handy. No, no but it looks ancient. That is very Let's handy. Let's take a look. Right, Melly. While the boys are daydreaming, we should get going. Who built this? Yeah, so, yeah. I know that there. Uh... Some knight, perhaps? I don't think knights know how to use stone and mortar. <laughs> That's true. There are a lot of those. Lucas? It was built a long time ago. But the rats haven't been here for that long. Yes, they have. Right. Closed. Many No. Maybe from the other side? Okay, so we are going to actually like do the thing with it, which we go this way. 
we can force all the rats to back up it until they all land in the pit. Whoa! And then they can't get out, because, you know, they definitely can't climb walls. We have to get to the other side. Alright, come on. They definitely can't just climb walls, but I suppose the the braziers are supposed to actually hold them in place. Yeah, I I don't know, Vela. That's entirely I'll, possible I'll uh, yeah. that they were, but uh, that they have been. But I I'm not familiar enough with hermetic texts uh, to necessarily be looking for that uh, to know that whether or not they've been published. So, yeah. Let's grab as much, let's raid as much as we can while we have the chance. Oh, we are full up on ox. And we are almost full up on alcohol. Let's see. You are not locked in place, so we should just be able to push this over. Let's push it over. And then that gets the door, which gets them through, which is good, because they're being annoying. Uh, but. Let's actually, uh, fling one of these. Well, let's actually craft some of those, uh, since I've got plenty of those. And fling. There's a lot of bloody rats. There's a lot of frickin' rats, yeah. And this is just a small fraction of the number of rats. Isn't it fun? To deal with all this squeaking over time. Huh. Yeah. I think it's safe to say at this point that any her claims to hermeticism is a revival movement. Huh. But is a generally. I think has very little relation to modern uh, reality. Uh, and to uh, any ancient hermetic movements. There's just. I'll go first. Of course. Ongoing ones. So, well, we sh are hopefully almost at the end of this uh, chapter, and at the end of this chapter is where we will call it off. Off. So, while we are talking, or while they are talking, and when we get to the end, I will give the usual spiel. Let's Another you. door. Maybe it's the right one. I just hope there are no rats behind it. To, to start the, this, I hope you guys have enjoyed this stream. Uh, this is a really Many fun game to stream. On my way. Uh, in my opinion, so I'm really doors. enjoying this. Uh, yeah, <laughs> this is looking pretty much Whoa. It really exists. like the end of the chapter. Shut. There's. Castle of Shadows, by the way. Uh-huh. I assume when we get inside that, uh, we'll, the chapter will end. But yeah, uh... If you guys like this, do consider supporting the channel via follows and donations. It does help a lot, so let me keep doing this. But yeah, we have here a ruined castle. Uh, it's open. In the 14th century, it would be at least vaguely possible for a castle to achieve this state of ruination already. Uh, those stone castles don't show up until like the into the 13th uh, century. It doesn't smell very good. So, remedy like remedy less than a hundred years old, uh, but still. Uh, theoretically possible if it got, like, blown up, but pretty weird. Uh, so Vinegar of the Four Thieves. <laughs> this feels very gothic. Uh, there is a particularly widespread legend of four thieves who found a way to plunder contaminated houses without being struck by evil themselves. When they were finally stopped, the robbers promised not to be burned at the stake if they revealed their secret. They agreed, uh, making the details of their mysterious recipe public, and were hanged on the spot. The effectiveness of the recipe remains highly questionable. 
So, I mean, this is presumably some kind of tying into what I was just talking about earlier with quintessence. Of a vin instead of a vinegar, if it was an alcohol, uh, though, I suppose it is. They're both uh, acidic compounds. Well, vinegar being an acidic compound still could definitely help, but still some kind of like universal cure all uh, based in a clear liquid. Uh, sounds very much similar to quintessence and, uh, you know, Everclear. <laughs> but yes, this is. With the thunderstorm here and all of this stuff, this definitely does feel like we've gone straight up Castlevania Gothic. So, Victorian Gothic, and that's a relevant part of the Middle Ages that this game is adapting. Things are big. Things are really big and bombastic uh, to a ridiculous extent. And the idea of this ruin being a really suitable place for horror and for hidden dark things is extremely widespread and so regardless of you know uh, rats. I don't see I don't see how Whoa. did you see that? That was a lightning. big lightning strike. They're afraid of lightning. Let's try it. Are you kidding? That was a big lightning strike. Let's go a different direction. I know that that's the way we're supposed oh wait, was this where we came up? This is where I came up. Let's wait for the next one, because I'm sure they're going to come back out. Yeah. So they come out, lightning hits, and then they run, run again. So this is just a nice little timing puzzle. Uh-huh. I, like I like the violin uh, stings at every single turn that we have. Uh, never again, meaning right now. Uh, crap, I need to make sure I've got that? Yeah. And there we go, there's that. And as soon as this goes, we can actually can light the next one up. And go over, go over. Voila! Rats are our sky. <laughs> God, I love it. Did we make it? Really? We did. We're here. They all made it. Ta-da! Uh, this style of castle is totally fine. Uh, actually, ac roughly accurate for this uh, time period. It's just it already being in the state of dark ruination and stuff is uh, being actively maintained. It's definitely not impossible, but you'd more likely see a, a modern Bailey castle, which is not of. Uh, does not look like this at all, uh, being something that's abandoned and ruined. Or looking even farther back, like Iron Age hill forts, R definitely not this, which is a contemporary castle to the period. But yeah, the horror ruin continues to be a horror ruin, and let's hope nothing terribly bad happens here. You know? Incredible. But, yeah, this is not several centuries old. You do not. Hmm. Hmm. We can't go that way. Let's take a look at going this way. No. No. Okay. Fine. We'll go this way then. Locked. Not for long. It's not. Take care of it, all right? They're gonna take a look. We're gonna to need to. Oh, there was something alive in it. It's oh, open. well, it's just a bug. You're fine. There wasn't a rat alive in it, so who cares? So, yeah, we've got a full of. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I like Look, this. Abrasia. Let's see if I can light it. So we can get the rats to move. Lucas, Hugo, stay out of the ring. We'll open up a path to the tower. All right. Come, Hugo. Uh, I want to make more things. So I can pick up both of these. Okay. Uh, the thing I like about this so much uh, is the fact that there's actually still color present 
in this, like, wall hangings being a way to do it is good, but also that, you know, even if there's this weird, like, secret meeting place uh, where you've got the red, the yellow, and the blue quadrants in this uh, puzzle-type thing, even though that's kind of... The specific designs are odd. Uh, the non-specific designs, I'm actually really okay with. Uh, in that, the idea of using color and potentially uh, a lot. potentially mosaics of the style. Uh, well, not of this specific style, but mosaics in general, uh, I'm very much okay with. I don't mind that at all. Okay, so the goal is we need to shove them into the pit somehow. So to do that, we're going to light this here, and then we're just going to go over to that brazier so we can actually light it. Because we're not going to be able to clear them off. I'm with you. Great. I feel better already. And there we go. There's definitely a little bit, something a little more uh, childlike, I guess, uh, about this though. Compared to The Last of Us, uh, what, did you not make it? I thought... Seriously? I don't like softlock because Melly's didn't walk, go with me. How the heck do I get this? Unless if I can tell Melly to grab this torch, or to grab the stick, but I, uh... Yeah, maybe. Oh yeah, I can just... I can do this, okay. That's cool. Don't know how that works, but you know, that's cool. I guess that's what the pit's for. Oh, crap. Is coming back by itself. I do the rats swarm Ready? up. Can you get to me? I'm coming. Can't wait to get the rats there. don't come back, though. The rats are stuck in the pit, because apparently these rats only them. sometimes... Like nobles at the king's court, but it's our castle. Sometimes being able to do it. Uh, yeah, no. Uh, it's not completely impossible, but that is uh, damning with faint praise. Right. Those ones have to be driven into the pit too. And of course, they're on the wrong side of the brazier. I'm gonna have to go down and see what's there. All right. I'll cover you with the brazier. Nope, oh, wrong one. Uh, this one. Fling. I'm putting my life in your hands, you know. All in a day's work, milady. Whenever you're ready. Do you actually move it automatically, or do I need to tell you to? You, I need you to tell you, you to. Oh good, there's another one here. Uh, Cool, we can get up there. Uh potentially. We're going to make it. Hugo will be safe. We'll all be safe. Potentially. Cool. Now we can get up here with the very distinctive uh blue spots on the things. To get up there. But yeah, luckily, you know, the alchemists knew about the great secret in his blood and they were prepared for it, even though they have all vanished now for some reason. That's very unclear, don't worry about it. Uh You know, that kind of stuff. But we take what we can get. Exactly. And the idea that alchemists uh, right. the and divination would be linked uh, is not uh, 
unreasonable uh, even within the period. It's definitely not, you know, uh, the, the reason why I say that it's not unreasonable is uh, that there is definitely a close link between astronomy, astrology, and alchemy, because uh, the planets and the stars and the moon were thought to have uh, pretty significant effects uh, on how on uh, health and what was possible. So there's actually a case coming out of uh, Paris in 1348, so right at this time period in France, uh, that blames the uh, second plague pandemic to a confluence of Mars, Jupiter, and Saturn that spreads pestilence. I, uh, that's not good, um, uh, can you just, there you go. Into the pits with you. okay, you yes. just need to release it, Perfect. okay, that works, well, that's done. The last sector now. I have to get back to the ladder. uh, okay, now we can send this back this way, yes, All right. Here we go again. Have you done it? I know, yes. right? Clearly designed to be clever for us. Don't worry, the storm will drown out our voices. Soon we'll all get to see the tower. Good luck. Uh-huh. I totally believe nothing will go wrong here. I have great confidence in that fact. I'm gonna drive these guys back out here. There we go. And then it's all fine. The storm does not drown out. There's no way the storm drowns out our voices. If we can hear each other, the rats can hear us. So we gotta go up here. And now we got one more section to do. <laughs> yep. The bridge. We A crap. It. I'll help you climb up. I'm coming. Actually, climb, please. Thank you. Right in sync. Good job, guys. And conquered the Chateau d'Ambrage. Uh-huh. You've read too many books. I come on. We still have to clean up the uh -huh. uh, blasphemy. Uh, I'll cover you with this. Uh, the Jurassic is French, I'm yes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, actually, do I need to throw a thing first? Let's assume I need to th uh, throw a thing first. There we go. That would be embarrassing to just forget to throw the thing, and so I don't actually make it. Luckily, you know, they're really, really crap. Uh, I'll drive them out of there. And then drop that and just climb. Voila! Uh, but yeah, there is a Tarasque. It is supposed to be from the south of France. I'm actually not sure where in France we are. I had assumed we were in the south of France, but not confident on that. So... We'll just, you know, assume that this is okay. We can go this way. And that drives all the rats out into the main thing. All the rats out, yeah. Thank you. And now that's brought chaos over here. I'm going to need you. I'm coming. Alright. Here we go again. This is how you conquer a castle. How you get thick. No, not in my version of the story. Uh 
Oh. I see. Okay. I need to go back up here and do this again. Huzzah! Yep. I don't know what's gonna happen. I assume it's gonna kind of stick to the rats. Well, yeah. Anyway, so yeah, I'm sure it'll all be fine and not go horribly wrong. But yeah, I think I started saying this, uh, but there is definitely. Uh, there is. Uh, yeah, there, there's a, a lot more of a childlike humor to this uh, than Ellie ever had in The Last of Us, and certainly more than Joel had anything we remotely like. Uh, so having this be from the perspective of children is really, yes. really. A nice change, but let's you actually explore the the horror without actually, you know, let's you explore the horror without shying away from it, but also without it turning into Grimdark and of them finding joy and finding uh, things amidst the horror and kind of making it a hopeful narrative at least so far. Uh, at the same, while still exploring the social and emotional consequences of pandemic. So, that ends the stream for today. Uh, as soon as we get started in here, we're gonna, as soon as that little icon pops up that tells us we auto saved, we're gonna pause it and then we'll, I'll do the good night spiel. Because it's, you know, 9.30 here, so we gotta make sure we keep going. There we go. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this stream. As I said, I really enjoy this game. This game is so fun to talk about, and I think there's a lot more to be talked about from a design perspective about how they're using the Middle Ages, so hopefully we can keep saying that and keep saying more there. Though, of course, a lot of the stuff I do mention in relation to that is things we'll hear over and over and over again. But if you guys liked it, uh, do consider uh, following and subscribing to the channel here. Donations of all kinds really help make this viable and keep going. Uh, next stream is going to be on Saturday. We're going to be playing Heaven's Vault, which is a game I, I played before we got to the hiatus, and we're going to pick that back up. It'll be space archaeology and spending some time just deciphering ancient writings, and it'll be a lovely time. And then Sunday will be a bonus stream, uh, assuming that Red from Overly Sarcastic Productions is free. Uh, she'll be joining me with Darkest Dungeon. Additionally, if you like the, this, uh, do consider uh, uh, joining me on my Discord server, which I am about to drop a link to. Uh, do, 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 do. Join my Discord server to be notified when I go live. Follow me on Twitter and subscribe to my YouTube channel uh, to make sure you guys catch the VODs after the two week period where it's kept here. So. All those things will be helpful to kind of keep getting this content, and if you spread this around uh, as much as possible, uh, the more publicity we get, the better off we are, the more people are around, and we'll ha keep having a great time. So yeah, I will see you guys all on Saturday with Heaven's Vault, which I'm very excited for. I love that game so much. If you're around from the before times, you'll remember it probably, because uh, space archaeology is pretty distinctive. But it's going to be a good time. So yeah, I will see you all then. Uh, good night.